Well, the recently closed China Guardian autumn winter sales mainly seen antiques like Chinese calligraphy and furniture going under the hammer, the Sotheby's Beijing Art Week is offering something very different. The sale is a comprehensive world-class art experience tailored to appeal both new and established Chinese collectors. The four-day event includes three selling exhibitions on Western arts and furnishings and one major auction of modern and contemporary Chinese art. Featured amongst the lots is late painter Zhao Wuqi's piece, Abstraction. The Chinese-French artist's work has seen record-high sales in recent auctions, including at China Guardian's Autumn Sale in Hong Kong. However, at Sotheby's biggest move into the mainland market, the auction house is preferring to operate within its comfort zone. Well, on the one hand, we're very excited to uh, become the first international auction house to gain an auction license in China. Uh, on the other hand, of course, there are challenges, the biggest being uh, the fact that foreign houses are still allowed to sell Chinese cultural relics. Uh, at the same time, we also want to uh, make use of our strength, which is clearly our international network and our expertise for over 200 years on Western art and Western antiques. But the center of attention here is a joint exhibition of two of the world's most legendary painters. Rembrandt and Picasso. And this time we decided to feature modern masters with a theme of the figure and the representation of the figure in Western art from Rembrandt through to Picasso. And it's interesting to be able to stand here with both this Rembrandt and the late Picasso musketeer behind us because actually there's a dialogue between the two. Picasso was, he wanted to be remembered as one of the most important portrait painters of the 20th century. And who does he look at? One of the most important portrait painters of the 17th century, Rembrandt, as a reference. So it's very interesting to be able to have both pictures here at the same time and to stand in front of them next to each other and see the dialogue that was happening between the two artists. One of the selling exhibitions here is called Age of Elegance, featuring furnishings demonstrating the lavish splendor of the 19th century. Hopefully this will also spell the belle époque for the future of auction houses here on the mainland. Yes, indeed. We did the first exhibition of Age of Elegance in Hong Kong last November. Uh, it was a great, great success. Uh, and I'm very excited to be in Beijing. Our client base at auction, uh, when we look at our database, uh, we have a growing demand from the mainland. Uh, my ex expectations, if I may say, are high. Other than Western paintings and furnishings, the selling exhibitions also include Sotheby's diamonds. Around 150 pieces of modern and contemporary Chinese art, including Zhao Wuqi's abstraction, will go under the hammer at Sotheby's in Beijing on December 1st. Shen Li, CCTV.